Hello everybody, uh, this is Mahmoud. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the connection between Data Hub and the Remote SQL Server. Uh, first, uh, this uh, this is IP uh, that ends on with 1.7 at the Remote Desktop. Uh, uh, I mean the Remote Server that we want to connect to. And it has, as we see, the SQL Server installed like this and this is its name and the second pc is my local one this my local one has a uh, data hub installed and i i have been installed this up using docker so all what you all, all all what you have to do is just opening docker on your local pc and uh, click on run for the disk for the data hub container after you installed it so after what we have did now uh, we want to access our our UI for data like this. And if you if it's your first time to access data, it will ask for credentials. You can type data hub for user and data hub for password with no any chem case letters or. So after this, we have to click on ingestion and. Uh, we can add a new source like this, create new source, and this is SQL Server, and our IP is 1.9168.7, and the port number is 1433, uh, the username is data, and the password is data hub as well. So my database that I want to introduce some metadata from is called test. So next and next, and uh, we want to give it a name: trial SQL server, and uh, we want to save it like this. We were we after uh, configuring the other PC, we will come to run this connection here from this PC. We have to uh, first uh, go to security. This is the server we want to connect to, and we, we want to go to security to make a new login, so that we can access SQL Server from Data Hub. A new login name. Uh, just go. Uh, I will and I then will make it bigger. Uh, go to general, and uh, say login name is Data Hub. We have entered it uh, on the local PC as data hub. And uh, the authentication is SQL Server authentication. Provides a password to be data hub as well. So, uh, you can specify the password, uh, whatever you'd like to specify it. But I have uh, choose to uh, make it data hub as well. And uh, we can uncheck uh, enforce password expiration. And uh, when we when it comes to server rules, uh, I'm not sure if this is important or not, but I'm going to check this admin. Uh, I don't think it's important. Uh, well, let's get, give it the access to the test database and the secure rules. We want to the server uh, and brand the data hub user to connect SQL. And after this, only uh, write uh, or click OK. I have already made this step before, so I don't have to make this again. Uh, when it come, when we go to the server name, we want to right click it and click on properties, and go to connections. And in connections, we have to, you know, check that allow remote connection to the server is already checked. And uh, in in security. Uh, yeah, in security, we have to check that the server authentication method is SQL Server and Windows authentication mode. After this, we want to go to a uh, we want to search for SQL Server here. Uh, here it is. I think uh, Microsoft SQL Server, and we want to use SQL Server 2019 configuration manager. And after this. We want to click SQL Server Network Configuration and uh, we have to check that TCP IP is already enabled. Okay, and after this, we want to make a new inbound and outbound rules. And 
by typing firewall here and go to advanced settings uh, in inbound rules I have already made one it's called inbound SQL server uh, let's, try, let's uh, suppose we want to create a new rule uh, it's support uh, let's specify the port to be 1433 as a default uh, port number for SQL Server. Click Next, and we, have, we want to allow the connection. And uh, let's uh, keep those like uh, they are. Maybe you, or you can achieve public. And give it a name. And click Finish. I have already made this, so I don't want to make it again. And go to Outbound Rules and do the, th the same thing. New Rule and port and then 1433 and then allow the connection and then finish after you give us the name after all of this nothing is going to uh, happen you you won't be able to check uh, you won't you won't be able to access the metadata from data uh, except if you right click the server name and install the service of sql server and then after all of this uh, we go back to our local server like this and uh, go now there is something happened let's say that it just delete this and go to this one this one is the same uh, it's the same host and port number State up, data up, and uh, username and password, and the database is test. Let's go next, next, and save and run, and wait for the ingestion to be to see what's going to happen. If your database is somehow low voltage, so it may take it might take some time. We can click running to see what's happening now. And uh, I think there is no errors. As we can see is that there there is some queries happening from information schema and uh, like this. So this means that the ingestion is being handled. And as you can see, it has succeeded. Uh, so I hope this video uh, help me uh, configure the connection from data hub on a remote SQL server and if you have any comments uh, regarding this video uh, please leave it in the comments um, and sorry for my English uh, I'm not a native English speaker thank you